So South date in the house here, C3. Uh, you guys, you, you guys travel a lot. You guys don't, you're not afraid of competition. How far are you guys from Miami, actually? Uh, this is about four and a half, five hours from Miami. So, so, oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Homestead's like 17 miles away from Miami. So you're about 20 minutes, half hour, depending on traffic. Yeah, yeah. So, so you look at that, man. You guys travel up here about five hours. Yeah. Um, you're always looking for good competition, but I think your guys' results at the Division One level and college level has spoken for itself. And then... 12 or 13 time champs here in Florida. I believe it's 12. <laughs> ripped through. Let, no, let's see the latest bling. Do you mind? Tissue paper. Like, I, you know what I really like? Whatever. I like that you took that Padres logo. I got to be honest. I like that you took that, that South Day Padres logo. Let me see that. That's nice. Nice. Okay. So you're here. You know, you're always looking to advance your guys, you know. Um, Earl's a South Day guy, isn't mm -hmm. he? And then Lugos are South Day guys. Um, when you look at, you know, and that's just, just, just off the top of my head, right? Um, Looking at getting guys in front of college coaches, how important is it to you guys? It's real important. Um, we're just, I've been there for 23 years, and at first, you know, it was, it was hard to get the kids to, to a D1 level, not because of their talent, but because of test scores and GPAs and stuff like that. So it took a while to, for them to buy into the whole schooling system and this and that. But then once a kid or two goes to, to a D1 level, then everybody else wants to match that. And, but they got to do it in the classroom first, and they got to get the test scores. And that's always been our, you know, uh, 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 speed bump. That's always been the, the problem that we've had. But since we've gotten uh, wrestlers that started at the kids level and um, and parent parental support and stuff like that, we've really been able to take off from there. You know, you look at uh, college coaches. You know, this is the mecca of college coaches right now. There is literally all levels, all divisions are here at this convention. There's going to be more eyeballs of college coaches on guys here than there is at any of the other C3, the college compound combines. Um, What's that like to know that you guys are going to have a ton of attention here and a ton of eyeballs on you? Oh, that's why we're here. But besides trying to give uh, Cliff some support, and uh, we knew that this was a it's a it, Cliff's a genius to match this up with the the coaches convention and uh, for the chances of these coaches to come by and walk by and see and, and take a glance and put a name with a face and to get to see their work ethic and practice and to get to see some of their skills and the way they're built. Um, it's that, that's why we're here. That's why we drove five hours. You look at you guys and how you keep winning state titles here in the state of Florida. State of Florida has actually elevated his game, you know, greatly. When you look at Highland Prep, I mean, it, it, it's pretty incredible what they're doing in the state of Florida here. How much has it changed in your 23 years? Uh, you, know, you know, being around the sport in, this, in Florida as a coach. It's, it's changed quite a bit. Like I said, in my early days, you know, you were lucky to get a wrestler that started wrestling in middle school. And if you got a kid that started wrestling in middle school, you're expecting him to be a two or three time state champ. But now we're getting kids. The whole state of Florida is having great kids programs. Um, like my assistant coach runs Gladiator Wrestle Club. And when you start getting a kid that wrestles from six or seven years old, then you can match them up against the Pennsylvanias and the Jerseys and stuff. Like we have some of the best athletes in the whole country, Florida does. Uh, we just we're, we're just at our infancy in, in, in wrestling, uh, kids wrestling. But we're starting to get that, and that's why we're starting to really blossom on the national level. You know, you're, you've been in it 23 years. How much longer do you think you can do this? It's not like you're, you're a pretty young guy still, you know? I'm not look that really young. Young. You look really young. You look like a young guy, but how much longer can you continue to this high level that you guys are at and continue to go on the upswing like you guys are? I don't know how long we can continue to be on the high level, but I, I know that I'm going to try to put in at least seven or eight more years. My I have a younger son that's just turned 11, so it'd be exactly 30 years uh, coaching when he gets to high school or when he finishes, or I think when he comes to high school. So I got at least eight, ten more years in me. Um, but as, as for the high level, um, as long as we keep that kids program going, the uh, Gladiator Wrestling Club, and we continue to do the things at the kids level, we're going to probably continue to succeed on the high school level. Do you teach? Yes. Are you PE? No, I teach special ed. I teach handicapped kids all day. Okay. So, so you that, that That's a pretty demanding job. I don't think a lot of people know that. Actually, my classroom's across the hallway from, from um, MD room, multi-disability room, but uh, it's, it's pretty demanding. Um, will you go? Have you been doing that 23 years? I've been, yeah, teaching and so, coaching. 23. So will you be out at 30? Do you, it's almost going to line up perfect, so because man. It's going to line up perfect for you. Because I'll only be... I'm 46 right now, 47. You're 46? What are yeah. you drinking in the water down there? That's incredible. Thank you. Uh, I'll be, you know, eight years from now, 54, 55, and I don't, 50's not old anymore, I don't think, so I don't know if if um, I'll retire from teaching, but possibly from, from wrestling just so I can travel and see my youngest one in college and stuff like that, but may, I don't know. Maybe as long as I'm teaching, I'll probably be coaching, so I don't, I, as long as I have good help, I'll, I'll continue to coach.
do you think Florida has taken advantage of the whole state as a, as a whole? We know South Dade has. Has the state as a whole taken advantage of the C3 event here? I don't think they have. I don't think they know what they're missing. Um, you know, there's no secret to success. You just got to seek out the best competition and 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 some of these these coaches don't realize what's going on and, and when they get word of it and, and, and word of mouth and, and realize what they missed, I, I would hopefully think that they would come the following years. I don't think they're benefiting from it. I mean, we should have a whole, we should have thousands of kids here. That's how important it is. All right, you're gonna stop making trips to Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. It sounds like you're gonna be going to Iowa City now. How do you feel about that? And, and you know, what, what, what did Pat Lugo, did he, Talk to you at all, to Patricio, and confide in you at all when he made his decision. Yeah, absolutely did. He. I mean, he loved Edinburgh, but I feel like he thought, his dad thought, we thought that he might have outgrown the room as much as as Coach Flynn and, and Coach Port did for him. Uh, he needed a room filled with all Americans and national champions, and 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 then workout partners, and then they, he also wanted a room where they. Uh, they, they practiced freestyle and Greco more. They, they focused on freestyle and, and Greco, also, and the Hawkeye Wrestling Club does that. Um, uh, yeah, he confided in us, and it's great that, like I said, Edinburgh was great, um, but we'll see what he does at Iowa. I think he's going to be surrounded by studs and champions, and, and then you, you have to succeed in, in that room, you know? All right, Coach. You guys were about to start up. Reese is right. about 10 minutes out. You got anything else for me? No. Thank you for upholding this, and... and and I hope our kids uh, impress the coaches. All right, coach. Thanks for the time. All right.